once again. In game two, it's the leg, guys. Watch the leg. Oh, oh my God. The goodness. follow through on the foot gets you in trouble every time. And that's the second time that Green and let's say in a Larry Bird, 60 years old today. Vidge, our TD, celebrating a birthday. I don't know how old Vidge is, but Blake Griffin just took a shot upstairs again. Anderson beats Jordan for the easy dunk. Shoulder. got to see this one again. Donovan, I think, is uh, uh, chuckling a bit. Uh, I think it's the right call. I think Donovan w was moving. I don't think he was quite there. He tried it. Joe, Joe saying, get up, Donovan. Come on. Oh, I'll tell you, the shoulder, Barnes put it into the yeah, chest. but he did not raise the arm up. The elbow never came up. Oh, the ball. Oh, oh, oh that's what Joe's laughing about. Oh. On the screen above, is it inadvertent or not? Being that third guy, in their scoring hierarchy, he will uh, have some really good nights, George, and won't get the credit for it exactly. on this team. But I'm sure he's happy to be on this team with the chance to do big things in the postseason. He has nine in the fourth. With the game on the line. Blake on the floor. Threw the ball into the midsection. Chris Middleton gets into a little bit of trouble, finds Giannis, down the hill, baby. Hey, I love it. I really do. Sometimes he hooked hurdle is what the official uh, told Adams. Just a oh. and then Baca stood up at the rim by Adams. Stephen takes a shot in a sensitive place. Ibaka will go to the free throw line, and Adams will try to recover his senses. The crowd has just seen it on the big board here at the Air Canada Center. And you heard the drone of sympathy as Ibaka put his knee in an ultra sensitive spot. And they're going to take a look at this as to whether or not it ought to be judged a flagrant on surge or perhaps a technical for unsportsmanlike. Family Jewels uttered a professional sports broadcast. <laughs> well done, Pioneer. You oh, fit right in in Oklahoma. Oh, man, I tell you, man, I'm just hoping that Stevens is okay because he is having one heck of a ball game. Well, Westbrook is over there having a lighter moment here as Adams struggles to his feet. Uh, you know, I, I've been wrong in situations this. like this. And look at this classy move by Serge Ibaka to go over and, and acknowledge Stephen Adams and, and say, hey, man, you know, I'm glad. Hi, bro. That's the meanest thing you've ever said. No, that's no. <laughs> <laughs> Shea's coming the other way. <laughs> Two and a half. Ball deflected. Oh. Looks like it hit him right in the groin. You're the Lakers. You got to get a timeout. Uh, Russell's still down. Crowd just saw the replay. And that hurts. And you hope that he's okay. First thing you think of now is not Mono Ginobili in what you just thought was a, a shot to the groin that turned out to be something obviously more serious so you hope it's okay so Russell's still down we'll check on him when we come back that's one edge the Clippers have had in this series in terms of turnovers they only had six in game three but still came up short Griffin against Ibaka barrels in left-handed short and he hurt himself Griffin shaking up. I think he may have gotten hit in the groin. This one he's going to need a couple of seconds, perhaps a couple of minutes to walk off. Westbrook a little out of control. Back to back turnovers to start for OKC. And Oklahoma City Thunder. As they blow a whistle. Uh, they take a 20. 20 because Griffin really having some problems after taking that shot. Griffin and Ibaka have been very physical together. 
And you see Ibaka going at him there, and that's why Griffin's shaking up. We'll take a timeout. Work the shot clock at five, put it up, bank it down, and Hood. Hood will shoot a free throw, and Adams is down. That's two on Steven Adams, and the first bucket for Hood. And you watch this with Westbrook here with this burst of speed here. He splits, and then boom. Jumps off the right leg to shoot a right-handed shot, and it's just an off-rhythm shot. Beautiful drive here. Booker does this as well as anyone in this league. His feet are always underneath him. That's his, for the most part, Craig, he's always balanced, and, and the shot looks easy to get off on. Barnes had a Pelican coming up from behind, and the fans alerted him to that, and now a foul is on Buddy Heald. Cousins screaming at Ed Malloy that there should be a technical call. I think they're going to review this. They're going to review it. And there is a, a timeout. 2.55 left. And here's another look. Oh, for sure. That's, yeah. that, are you kidding me or what? Come on. That should be a technical. It will be. All right, we'll be right back. Watch what just happened. This is uh, the definition of, of an unnatural act. It's what the uh, league was looking for this year. And, I mean... Yeah, I'd like to believe that that's not unnatural. There, there aren't yeah. any. Wow, I mean, uh, it's a, that's definitely going to be a technical a decision pretty soon. Yeah, I would hope so. All right, here we go. Flagrant one, unnecessary contact committed by a player against an opponent. Wow, a flagrant foul penalty two. I think that's exactly right. You, you know, when you... So he's ejected from the game. I think it's exactly right. If you look at what a flagrant two is... Yeah, no question. And, and the definition and what he did... If that's not a flagrant two, then what no, is? You yeah, know? Right here. Yeah, that's a flagrant two. That's all you can say. In my mind. Well, goodbye, Buddy Heald. We'll see you in the next game. He has been ejected. And Cousins makes the technical. Alvin Gentry already has one technical, and he, he may be joining Buddy Heald here in the next uh, couple of moments. I don't think Alvin saw the play. Uh, Jones guarding at the top. LeBron coming to double. A lot of contact going for the ball. What do we have here? LeBron already has a technical foul. And he's uh, barking here that James Harden kicked him. Yeah. And the nastiness continues with these teams. Yeah. Michael Smith, the referee, jumping in. I, I like the way he handled it, Mike. He did a good job. Sending everybody back to their benches. There's a lot of contact. Harden was getting frustrated. And then uh, watch the feet here as they go down. That kick there is the one that got James angry. And now both sent, both sides sent to their respective benches. And we're going back to the video again. Well, he definitely kicks LeBron James, okay? Now, that, that's obvious. The big thing is if you're a Houston coach or a Houston player or a fan, you want the foul right here where, where Jimmy Jones and LeBron are reaching, but they're not getting the ball. So they wanted. He's been dealing with injuries, and guys have been stepping up. McCollum will keep check, and it's an offensive foul. And they're going to review that. That's a kick out Let that time. kick by McCollum. And Mitchell Irvin says they're going to take a peek at it as well. Russell is still on the ground, and... It's a delicate area. Yeah. And CJ McCollum is saying he's, he, might be, he might be method acting a little bit here, but Ooh. that's not acting right there. That is legit. That's flagrant two, Jim. Yeah, that is, uh, <laughs> that looks like a flagrant two right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> There's no doubt. <laughs> I mean, we've seen Carl Anthony no. Towns for sure. No, I Get technical the fouls in that foul situation. Is under to see if it needs potential for a flavor foul. 